You're watching today's Homesteader Channel here at Peaceful Valley Ranch in Cotopaxi, Colorado, starring yours truly, Johnny Jules. All right, Homesteader family, so this right here is the top of that big grain silo, and like I said, it's about five foot wide or so. You can see the, uh, the bars right here, they hook to a uh, bar that goes across the top of the silo. So th there's two bars here and that thing underneath they clamp in so that way you grab one of these handles and you lift the whole lid off. Now because I'm not going to have semi trucks and everything like that coming in, there's no reason for me to have to lift a five and a half foot, six foot lid, whatever size it is, off in order to dump a five gallon bucket. So I've devised a plan with my alien intuition, as you guys know. So this is what I came up with. So basically, I've got a cap. So this cap will go on top of here, which will keep the water out. And then what I'm going to do is since this hole is smaller than there, I'm going to make cuts on here, bend it over, and then take screws and screw it. And then I'll caulk everything. And since there's these holes here, because I'm going to take this off, I'll have to patch the other side. But I'm thinking something along the line to put it there like that. And then that way I can back my truck right up to the silo and dump it. Now this hole is not big enough for five gallon buckets. So then that's why I thought of this. That gets me a nice big wide funnel to dump it into. So I'll leave this over at Peaceful Valley so I can use that. And then when I'm done with it, I cap it. And what I'll do is I'll put a couple drops of uh, rubberized caulk around. So that way this has a little more friction going on, a little more friction coming off. So that way it can't just blow off. So tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this piece right now and I'm going to get this marked out and I'm going to take the main lid down to my neighbor's house to that plasma cutter since this is real heavy duty galvanized steel and it's just so much easier to cut it with steel. Uh, so tonight I'll go ahead and I'll cut all this and get all this set up and I'll film that for you guys. And then, like I said, I'll cut this out tomorrow, and I'll show you guys what the final product looks like tomorrow once I get over to Peaceful Valley. So, I hope everybody's having a good night, and I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to take a moment and say thank you guys for watching my videos, for donating, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it, and it really means a lot to me. And remember, live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.